Welcome back, part three of the Concept 2 maintenance series. Um, today we're talking about getting into the underbelly of the beast, basically the inner workings that cause this handle to be able to pull out, and then the systems that help it return. Those are the two critical systems that really keep this machine functioning. So if you ever have any issues with them, uh, then you're gonna need to be able to get into the belly of the beast here, like we're gonna do today. One of the things that you may find are if you have broken links uh, on the chain, that would be one concern and one reason you would need to get underneath. Frozen links that you just can't break, meaning you would have to replace the chain. Uh, or if the handle is not returning nice and crisp like that just did, and that there's not some tension pulling the handle back in. Those are two things that you would need to be able to get into the underside and work on this machine for. So we're just gonna show you those systems. I'm not gonna actually replace a bungee or replace a chain today, but I want you to see and so you know where to go and that it's really not that hard to get to. Um, concept two guys, their machines are made to be indestructible and if you have to repair them, they are meant for you to be able to do them yourself and do it cheaply. Their parts are inexpensive. So if you have something wrong with your machine, don't let it sit, don't let it cause other issues, just replace it. Parts are extremely cheap to work on this machine, except for the monitor. Don't let the monitor get destroyed. But here we go, we're gonna get into this thing. Um, it's pretty easy to do. So you're gonna lift up on your latch and split your machine in two to get started. You're just gonna put that guy aside and that's gonna give you the front end, which you are then going to stand upright, okay? Now from here, you're gonna pull out your little plastic sheath, which may be dirty, this one's pretty good. You can give it a good wipe down when you do it if you want, um, just to help cleanliness factors. But that's gonna expose your bungee system, et voila, and your chain and your pulley system underneath. And this, you can see, this is where the chain connects to the bungee. The two systems come together. That's what you got going on down here. Now, if, let's address these issues. If your chain is having an issue, then you're gonna need to flip this machine on its belly, actually upside down, and you're gonna get in there with a few different tools. Concept two will walk you through that and will give you a little maintenance guide so that you can understand how to actually get in there. It's gonna involve some ratcheting um, and having to unloosen the tension on this whole system. Now, if you're having an issue with the handle not retracting, there's a pretty easy solution to that. And it all starts with this bungee. Now, this bungee system is pretty resilient. The only time, and I'm not sure if you can see here, there's a little fuzziness going on. That's fine and to be expected on this bungee. But um, the, if you ever see, you get down here and you see the, the elastic underneath, like this green housing is torn a little bit and you can see the elastic underneath, then you need to replace the bungee. Otherwise, it's usually still pretty good. However, if your handle is not returning as crisply as it once was, then you're going to get into the attachments of the bungee and you're just gonna tighten them down. So how do we do that? Well, the bungee attaches at two points, on the left and on the right. On the left, it's a hook that faces away from us and on the right, it's a hook that faces towards us. I'm gonna take out the left hook so you can see it. There you go, that's your hook. So, if you are not getting that same handle return that you, that you once had, but you need to get a little bit more tension, then what you'll do is you're gonna loosen this guy and you're gonna feed a little bit of slack through here. And what I'm doing is establishing a higher tension point on the bungee so that it has a greater return tension. And it's got a little natural lock built in here. Okay, so I just locked it in. And now I'm gonna feed this back up through. And now we've got more tension on the bungee. That means that that handle is going to retract easier because the bungee is pulling it back. Now I'm gonna hook that back on. And my left side is tensioned. Now I would get in here and I would tension both sides. I don't like to just tension one side at a time. So tension both sides, that means that you're tugging at both ends and that you are helping to improve the ability for this machine to retract the handle to you. So that's the underbelly, guys. It's pretty self-explanatory. The only time you're gonna have to worry about this, again, is if you're having deviations on effectiveness of the machine. That would be if the handle isn't returning well or if you have a chain issue, that's how you get in here. Putting it back together, all you're gonna do is take this plastic sheath, slide it back through, okay? 
Bring your two parts back together. When to become one. Pop the lock. And there you go. Your machine's back together. The underside is fixed. You got a nice returning handle. And everything is right in the world. All right, guys. This has been the third video in your three-part series, your maintenance guide to cleaning the machine. As always, make sure you go sign up for our newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, where you will get our latest video and blog article in your email inbox every Tuesday morning. And go check out our website, where we have programming and coaching online to help you achieve any of your goals when it comes to using this machine as a tool. Guys, we will see you on the other side. <music>